Alright, I was going to do something a little bit different today. I've got a new pair of headphones to upgrade from my crappy little um, $20 headphones. Uh, I picked these up down the street. Uh, I normally don't go to the place that I went to buy these, but they had them and I wanted them then and there. Probably could have gotten cheaper, but I didn't. A couple bucks cheaper. Uh, but these were, what, $99? Uh, I think they go cheaper on Amazon if you want to wait. I got impatient, but I got them at Sam Ash. Sam Ash, the you know the the guitar place that doesn't really carry many guitars, and well, at least where I live, they have really nasty custom uh, workers there and uh, have a one star review because of it. <laughs> Although they were alright when I went there, I don't really like going there, but. I went there because they had these, and I really wanted to upgrade right now. I have another pair of headphones coming in the mail. Those are Bluetooth. They're not as, you know, they're kind of like a brand that n n not as many people may have heard of. But I'll, I'll do a video for that. Uh, I don't know that I'll be unboxing them because I think I'm going to get those tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to open them tomorrow. And I'm going to be away on the weekend. So, yeah. I won't have time to do a video but, here we go. And he's got really good reviews on YouTube. I'll link you to some reviews. I'm not going to, like, listen to them right now. I'm just going to unbox them and show them and stuff. And they're gigantic. Well, at least compared to what I have. Interesting. And they come with one of these. I can't find these in stores anymore. I could actually use this for something other than when I'm... Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, comes with that. Um, and of course the headphones, which are um, over the year. Yeah, over the year. And they feel really solid compared to what I have. And they have these, this cord here. I heard it. I think it's like three meters long or something. I don't really, don't really want a super long cord, but I don't know. So it's for around the house. I'm not going to wear these outside. Um, it's too big and cords too much. But the Bluetooth headphones that I got coming out uh, are for uh, using outside. They're Bluetooth and wired. And they're small. And they don't, you know, of course, there's no problem with cords. But this is, this is quite long. This is a, like a, it's like those telephone cords, these. Um... So, I've never had a, probably a pair of headphones that cost more than $40, and the only one that I have that's $40 is a okay sounding Bluetooth headset, which is a wraparound thing that I use, I'm going to use for work. So, this is a quite long cord, but I'm, I am glad they did coil it like that because it, it makes it feel a little shorter, so, a bit of a heavy cord. Um, but like I said, it's for around the house, uh, you know, late at night when I can't blast my music or anything. Well, I don't really blast it, but, you know, I don't want to wake up the people downstairs. You, they can hear everything you're doing. They probably hear me making this video, so. <laughs> so, anyways, we got that. We got the... Does this have... Well, that's weird. Uh, that's I don't know. <laughs> I'm just looking at this, and it shows a... Oh, I guess that's a different set of headphones, but... You got this. It's showing a microphone, but... I don't know what that's about. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's just a different uh, set of headphones, so... That's this little manual that I'll never read. And, um, yeah, so... These really... You know, compared to what I'm used to, this really feels really sturdy to me. Kind of heavy. You know, like I'm comparing it to something that's... I'll show you. Basically, a couple things. If I can untangle them from the cord. Come on. God. There you go. Alright, so this is what I'm upgrading from. These cheap Sony whatevers. You know. I think I'll probably just put these away in case of an emergency where, um, you know, something goes wrong with these, which I don't want to happen. 
Nothing goes wrong with those. I need something. I get these. So this way, I have that. Kind of like the way what I do with Apple headphones. I have like a drawer. They put that crap in. And if I have to use it for any reason, I look at it like, uh, I really have to use those. Things suck. Okay, anyway. But, uh, yeah, and then I have these, which are a pair of, you know, like they wrap around your ear. They're Motorola. They don't have terrible sound quality. They're okay for the average person. They're good. They're good for the average person. Um, and, yeah. So, but I'm not audiophile, so I'll still keep these and that, and I don't require anything major. It's just that I wouldn't mind having something better. Especially because I did for a while. Actually, I can't find my phone, but there's a streaming service called Tidal, and I freed up a bunch of money because it's a fucking expensive service, but I freed up a few streaming services that I had in order to make space for that one because I really like the sound coming from it. It's just that I didn't want to spend an extra 20 bucks every month. So even though I don't really like the price, I couldn't help myself but to sign up. So I made space. What the heck is that? Uh, made room in my budget there. Uh, I'm a little... What's this thing? It looks like I could just peel it off. Does that peel off or something? I'm not going to try. Looks like it peels off. Anyway, so that's those. These are the headphones, and I will be listening to these probably all day. Uh, the rest of the day. They got really good reviews, and yeah, what the fuck. Thank you for watching. Alright, I said I wasn't going to do uh, talk about the sound and stuff, even though I lied. But, I will. Uh, even though you can't really take me... The, I don't know, you can't take them that seriously simply because these are the, you know, I'm used to using like $20 headphones. Now, I didn't point out that these are actually monitoring headphones, so they're mostly really made for recording music, but uh, they are also meant for bringing out certain details and things like that. And actually, while, while trying them out, I listened to Led Zeppelin. Um, they remastered a lot of their music for... Um, the service, the streaming service title, and even though I had listened to it before, I actually caught a lyric at the tail end where the song fades out, and I forget what song it was I was listening to, but I caught a lyric where it normally fades out, and I never heard this lyric before at the end, and I'm trying to remember the lyric, but I actually ended up catching some stuff that I didn't normally hear, so that was actually really cool. I was... I, I got overly excited about it. I was like, oh shit, I never heard him say that before. So, you know, that was really cool. Uh, of course, uh, I'm also using, I want to point out that I'm using Viper Audio on top of this. So that's uh, like an audio enhancement, hi-fi kind of modification for rooted phones. Which includes a shit ton of like stuff that really enhances the sound of your audio. And you can do a lot of customization to the way it sounds, it's like a night and day difference, but, um, so pointing that out, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what I, I've been doing, uh, I tried it without Viper Audio, and I'm just so used to it, with it, uh, it sounded a little more staticky without it, and it just sounded like, you know, I was playing straight from the, the music files without my little enhancements, um, so I can't really even, I don't know that I can, this is much useful to you, because if you're not using Viper Audio, this is really not going to be the most useful thing, seeing, seeing as I'm just kind of like using mods to enhance the, the audio. But uh, as weird as it may have sounded, it may sound to a lot of people, I always like to make sure that I'm 100% getting a real big difference or a real boost in sound quality over the shit that I have uh, to make it feel like, okay, I spent this money and it was worth it. So I did check it against these dumbass little $20 headphones to make sure, you know. And I noticed this was like really staticky and just thin and yeah, did. <laughs> um, it's going to be hard to ever use these again. Um, 
However, I will be using something like this, mostly just for work, you know, just when I'm kind of like working by myself and there's just nothing going on. It's just very small and easy to use. But yeah, so I did try these, listen to some older CDs. With older CDs, you can hear the noise floor, you can hear a little hiss, um, things like that. And like I said, with the Led Zeppelin CD, I caught... Uh, a, a lyric I'd never heard before, which, like, what normally happens is the song fades out, and before I actually hear that lyric, it's, in my headphones, it's normally completely faded out, but with this, uh, it brought it up, and I was able to hear that, and I was all excited, like a little girl, a fucking 16-year-old girl, oh my god! So, anyways. So yeah, I listened to some old stuff, I listened to some newer recordings, some uh, kind of underground metal bands or mm, indie metal, like death metal and, you know, thrash and stuff like that. And then I listened to some acoustic and some alternative and stuff like that. Uh, and some old, old rock. I listened to Metal Church Live album and that... Um, you know, as good as this, the album was, of course, it's a live album, so it's not going to have, like, the best sound. But it actually doesn't have bad sound for a live album. That's a really great album if you like Metal Church. Check out the live, uh, 19... 1989? I don't remember. <laughs> but it's a live album. It's, it's um... It, it's kind of expensive. Uh, it's 30 bucks for a CD now, which is a lot. Um, but... If you find it and you like Metal Church, or if you don't like Metal Church and you like metal, check out Metal Church. But if you if you do check out Metal Church, for any reason, the live album is fucking awesome. It's better than the actual CDs themselves. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Also, if you like Metal Church and haven't heard of Reverend, that's uh, David Wayne's other side project. He did, like, a short little album and a live album. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> they have, uh, what's that, uh, Scattered Wits. There's a music video on YouTube, Scattered Wits. Check, that's actually a really cool song. Uh, it sounds a little bit different than Metal Church, but I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Um, so, yeah, so these aren't really made for for listening to music, but I will use it that way. Plus, I actually do some recording, so this would be good for me to get, you know, to have a decent uh, source, to, uh, something to record with. Also, I like to normally listen to, when recording, I like to listen to the Average Joe stuff so that I can hear what it sounds like through that and a whole bunch of other different types of speakers and everything to try to make sure that when I do, when I make my sound, uh, final that it sounds good on everything I can think of, but that's that. Uh, that has nothing to do with headphones. <laughs> Apparently, these uh, this stuff is replaceable. This has like a Ziploc thing. This is actually like a Ziploc thing. You can unpeel it and put a new one on, and then apparently some of this other stuff is replaceable. Uh, a couple things I noticed in my short time of usage was this cable is really heavy, and I use the twist dies so that I could use, put, my, put this through my hand like this and hold my phone like that because it pulls down on, on the thing here and it uh, I only had bad things happen when, when you do that. Um, so, outside of that, just figured I'd check these out. I uh, really wanted to upgrade my stuff and they actually had these down the street. So I grabbed them and then I got arrested. I don't know why. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyways. There you go. Oh, uh... I, I can't... I can't stop, can I? No, uh, I did notice that this... Like, to fall backwards, if I put my head back... It would fall backwards. And fall off my head. Uh, I didn't see any way of adjusting it to get it to not do that. It would... My head would slide on this. I have semi-long hair... Not like, not metal head long hair, but I have a normal kind of like maybe that long and it just kind of slid backwards and fell off my head. So, and I caught it. I'm good at catching things. 
Um, before I say that I'm going to go and then come back, let me figure out, is there anything else? Um, everything seemed to work fine. I, my ears fit in there well. Noise cancelling, noise cancelling. So, yeah, it's like, don't walk out into the street or you'll get hit by a bus. Um, yeah, I couldn't hear a damn thing. Unless I made a humming noise with my with my voice, but that's coming up through, through, yeah, everything in my chest, and that's why I heard it. But I was actually banging spoons on my freaking counter and things like that, and I couldn't hear it at all. So, um, yeah. If, if these were more comfortable, I'd sleep with them, so this way I don't hear any shit outside the, the window. Okay, I need to stop talking. I've got absolutely nothing to say. Anyways. Uh, so I'm going to be reading up more on these, trying more things out. and Yeah, so that was my video. Thank you for watching.